Good morning, guys! I look like a complete mess right now. This is my unicorn right here and then my mini tree in my office right now. But anyways, uh, yeah, I look like a complete mess right now. Um, I got home from the gym, doing some editing right now, and I have to do my thumbnail. And also, I have to pack because we're leaving on Tuesday to Montreal. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff I have to do. Crud. I am going to be busy for a while. I also have to charge the battery on this and yeah, it's going to be a busy, busy time. But I'm definitely going to take you guys with me obviously for like the vlogging journey and also you're going to pack with me and all that good stuff. It's going to be exciting. And fun fact, I have never been to Montreal before. I know, shocking. I know. I haven't been there. Like what the heck? I'm like 30 years old and I haven't been there before. So anyways, you guys, I'm going to finish editing this video and then take you guys with me with my packing and all this good stuff throughout the week, so. Okay, so I finally look a little decent. Um, I washed my hair and blow dried it. Kind of did it a little bit. Um, I was having such a hard time with this. Like, I don't know if anyone has a similar issue uh, with me or to me, whatever, but as you can see on this side, it's like so like woof, so voluminous and this side is just like, it's flat here, like it can't like get any volume, I don't understand why. So a lot of people would suggest that like, hey, why don't you just blow dry in the opposite direction, which I always do, but when I flip it back, it always goes back down. And so even when I blow dry it up this way, and you know, after I do like my styling and everything, it still like is flat here compared to this side. So whatever I do to this side, I copy it to the other side. Like blow drying the opposite, opposite direction, uh, blow drying up this way or whatever the case may be. And this side is like so nice and just like oomph. And then this side is just so like flat. Like I don't understand this. So if anyone has any suggestions as to how to fix this, uh, please let me know in the comment section below because like it's really annoying where like one side is all so voluminous and then it, it does like my curtain bangs it does like what it's supposed to do and then this side it's like what the heck is going on here so I am so annoyed and frustrated but if anyone has any comments of like suggestions on what to do please leave a detailed like message and comments down below so I can like fix this because this is annoying as hell. Anyway, so as you guys can see, I'm starting to pack right now. So I feel like there's a lot to pack, kind of, not really, but uh, you know, I have to pack my sleeping, uh, potential clothes to go out in case it gets really cold, I have to pack those as well. There's a lot of things I have to like plan ahead and all that stuff. And I'm tired, it's only five o'clock. So I'm gonna pack a little bit and I will see you guys shortly. Okay, so I got a majority of my stuff packed, but it is, is a mess in here. Holy canola. Like most of this is pretty like good and like neat, but then you see my ottomans like what on earth happened. So as you can see, I have like a good chunk of my stuff there. I have my slippers, I got my um, undergarments and all that stuff. I have my skincare, some of my makeup stuff in the bags. I haven't packed all of it yet because I'm still gonna be, you know, using my skincare and, you know, makeup for the next few days. So yeah, I don't think I really need to bring anything else. It's just like the little tiny things left, like my toothbrush, toothpaste, and so forth. Um, but yeah, so I need to figure out what to have for dinner and finish packing up what I have to pack up. And I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, nothing else that's really gonna happen tonight. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I have to show you guys, <laughs> oh, here's Apollo, he's just in the cage right now. So we actually got this um, new crate just for like the week because they're the cats, they're going to be over at my friend's house and he's going to be babysitting them. So here's Luna, hi Luna, she has no idea what the heck this is right now, she's just like so focused on it. And again, here's Apollo. He, he's my favorite, my big boy. Luna's my favorite too, but out of her kittens, Apollo's my favorite. Here's my little terror, Cashew. Actually, come to think of it, I don't think I ever introduced my cats to you guys. Um, so yeah, this is Cashew, Apollo, Luna, Mama Cat, and Shadow is somewhere. Here's Shadow right here. Hi, Shadow. I think I woke him up from his naps. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'll let you be. Look at this distinguished gentleman. He's so cute. 
I love him. I love you too, Luna. She's so focused. Good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday. It is right now 7.44 in the morning. So sorry I couldn't update you guys earlier on my packing process, but you know, had to drop off the kitties yesterday at my friend's place. And then we got McDonald's for dinner and that was about it actually. So we did have a long night. So now we are just getting ready to leave, just uh, putting everything in the car. Any last minute things? I think I got everything. I hope. Because there's no way that I'm going to be turning around. Um, so yeah, right now it is, I think, minus one. But said it feels like minus five here in Toronto. And currently it is snowing, which is great. I like snow, but boo for the uh, driving conditions. So hopefully it won't be too much of a hassle. It says only supposed to snow for a bit, but we'll see about that. Um, Montreal, it said it's minus 4, feels like minus 4. And Montreal Blanc feels like minus 10. Great, great. But no snow there uh, until tomorrow morning. But it's going to be cold. It's going to be really cold. So anyways, I am going to put my things in the car and then uh, see you guys later. Hey guys! Okay, so we are just at a pit stop right now and I have no idea where we are, but we're almost to Ottawa and oh my gosh, so I drove the first three hours, so Ryan's gonna drive the next three hours uh, and yeah, so I think he just went to the bathroom right now, so we're just at one of the on routes and then we'll be on our way. So we actually picked up some Tim's. We got the Tim's beeves. I tried one of them. I, I thought it was just okay. I didn't think it was really that great. Um, and then picked up a London Fog for myself and whatever Ryan got, which is probably just a coffee with regular with milk or something. Anyway, so we left at 8 o'clock. Right now the time is 11.37. So we should be there roughly about maybe close to 3. Check-in time is at 4. So I think we should be good. Um, we might go grocery shopping before we check in um, because we're going to do taco night today. And then tomorrow and then the day after we're going to like go out, go sightseeing and do all that stuff. And then we're leaving Friday, checking out at 12 or just before 12 and yeah oh my gosh so there's a like a lot going on so i am just going to relax in the passenger seat now and yeah So obviously we are here right now. Someone started the fire. You proud of yourself? So it was actually quite confusing trying to find this place. And actually I should turn off the TV. <laughs> so uh, I can't catch a break. So, 
So it was actually quite difficult to find the place because the original way to get there was closed off. I don't know why, maybe it was too steep for the season or whatever the case may be, but it was closed off. So when we arrived there the first time, we thought we had to enter through this like address, this house, and it'll probably cut through. No, we had to, ke we had to keep going up this hill but Google Maps it lo looked like it was cut off when it actually it connected to the house we were just like oh my god so we were around the area about to go up the hill we said uh, maybe not so we turned around tried to go the original way cut it and it closed out and then we had to go back to the original way go up the hill it was so steep uh, so we finally got here obviously and uh, of course, like you guys saw, we started a fire. And yeah, so it was very spacious here. I just wish there was a TV somewhere so we could watch TV in the living room, but the other two rooms have a TV, so I'm okay with that. And best part, heated floors. Can't feel heated floors. You can't shove heated floors. You can only feel them. Heated floors, they're the best. And of course, we had to get some Montreal drinks. We're about to have some taco night and then eventually get ready for bed and then start the day. And you know what? It is only 5.40 p.m. It feels like nine o'clock. Or later. Or later, yes. It feels very, very late. I'm going to get ready and be in my pajamas because we're not going to go anywhere else tonight because we're having dinner and I need to be comfy and unpack because there's a lot of things around here and probably drink some wine too. It's been a long day. Yes. Very yes, so see you guys later. Everybody, oh my gosh, I look horrendous, just a little horrendous right now. But I would like to say that is such a beautiful view outside. How gorgeous is this view? Let me like come back here, like look at that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I guess it's snowing right now because the footprints that were out here last night, they are filled up. It's so beautiful. I think out there is supposed to be like the shower and sauna. I guess at some point we'll like check it out. I have no idea how to get down there. So that is the view. It is so pretty. I wanted to do one out here, but I um, closed the blinds i guess anyways uh so we're gonna make some breakfast i we were gonna do brunch but i guess we'll save that for tomorrow but so we're gonna make breakfast i have to wash my hair and get ready for the day because you know we're in montreal montreal block montreal you know we're, we're never really here so might as well anyways i'm gonna get ready and i'll see you guys shortly Okay, so we just came out of Schwartz Deli. Didn't have a chance to <clears throat> pull out this camera out. Um, so I, everything was on my iPhone. So it's gonna be a back and forth between this and the iPhone footage. So hopefully the quality isn't too bad, but we went to, again, Schwartz Deli. I thought it was pretty good. Did you like it? Yeah, that was amazing. It was pretty small though, I do have to say. I figured it would probably been a little bit bigger, but it was there since like the late 20s, so I guess they just stayed there ever since and didn't bother to expand. But anyways, it was still good. Now, I don't know where the hell we're heading to, but I think we're going somewhere down by the waterfront, I guess. And at some point, we're gonna go down to the Christmas market, so hopefully it won't be too packed, won't be too cold. And again, footage will be flipped back and forth between this and the iPhone. And he's switching up some stuff right now. Yes. 
trying to figure out where to go next. Because I'm hungry.